Now on BBC One, filled by the system, science and now her husband. Michelle Collins is taking matters into her own hands. The strong language in the concluding part of our weekend drama, Ella and the Mothers. I would like to know whether any of my eggs were given to the wrong They are carrying out a thorough investigation. With so it is true. They said there might be a chance that mine and George's embryo was implanted by mistake into someone else. You. Ella might not necessarily be yours. She could be mine. Mine and George's. Ella, no! How can a complete stranger just barge into my life and make claims on my daughter? We'll come back another time. I just wanted to see what she looked like in the... Stop! Stop! Charlie, there she is! That's her! Why don't we simply book you and Ella in for a DNA test and take it from there? Backed out? Why? The point is, she might not be your daughter. Saturday she followed you. Ella! Followed you and Ella to the park. Do you play that game? Oh, he seems worth it. Unless you go after him. I always bet with honest George. George? I was wondering whether it might be possible for us to meet up. Is George there? <laughs> oh, a little prezzy for her. Oh, thanks. So, how are you feeling? What time did it all start? About three o'clock this morning. She was out by four. Couldn't believe it after last time. Now, thank God you've come. I'm bursting for a wee. Would you mind? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Won't be long. I know. You could bet on the number of times a player spits in the game. <laughs> or oh, which country spits the most. They could have a trophy. A uh, spittoon. <laughs> <laughs> a golden spittoon. <laughs> would buy a lot of chance of winning something, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, how would you know when they were spitting and when they were just dribbling? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you found... I'm sure I'd never see you again. Maybe I was just playing hard to get. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, <laughs> yeah, who's a little girl then? My daughter, Alice. You didn't say you were a daughter. She's beautiful. Didn't want to put you off. It'll take more than that. In any case, I like kids. Do you? Yeah. Does she live with you or your old man? Me. How old? Five. Really? She's got your mouth. You think so? Oh, yeah, definitely. She's the only one. Mm -hmm. What about you? No. 
Not interested? No, we have tried. It just hasn't happened. That must be hard. You get used to getting everything you want, I suppose, and then suddenly there's something you can't have. But you can't unwant it. It was such a good meeting. Everything all right this then? <laughs> yes. She got a bit wobbly earlier on. Started asking for mum, but nothing serious. You do look nice. Wobbly? What do you mean, wobbly? What about? Oh, she couldn't find one of her dolls. Chrissy. Chrissy? Hmm. But she won't go to sleep without Chrissy. Madeline, she's fine. She went off as good as gold. She's absolutely fine, darling. I just can check. I didn't hear you. Yeah, well, alcohol's bad for the hearing, isn't it? What time is it? Around midnight. Where have you been? Yeah, at work. Got a lot on at the moment. And you're out of the office all afternoon. Which is why I had to work late. What, work is it office or work is it, Suzanne? Not stupid, George. Jean, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. Charlie just had a baby. Yeah. Oh, so. Hey, is everything all right? Yeah. A little girl. She's fine. It's just not fair. She's really gorgeous. And I'm, I'm really happy for her, but... I'm going to give Kapoor a ring in the morning, give him a kick up the arse. We'll sort this DNA test out once and for all, eh? I've now had a letter from the Kaufman solicitors, uh, strongly suggesting that you should take a DNA test ASAP. Uh, remind me, I don't seem to have a record. How long ago was it? We didn't go. Ah. Well, whatever the reason for that, um, all in all, I think it would be a wise thing to do. The letter goes on to say, following a number of tests at the clinic, it would seem that a couple of other children conceived there are now known definitely not to be their parents' biological children. So, uh, any news on the elephant? Not really. Nothing new on George, then. How do you mean? Or you seeing him again? Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, then very you. So did you? What? See him again. God, yeah, ages ago. And? What you see is what you get, really. So you, you didn't get any actual dirt on him? I'm working on it. What? You're screwing him, aren't you? What the hell do you think you're doing? You're sleeping with the man who's trying to take your daughter away. Madeline, you are sleeping with the man. I know what I'm doing. You're supposed to get the dirt on him, not be the dirt. Well, say something, for God's I'm sake. I said, I know what I'm doing. Which is what, exactly? Do you really think that I would do anything to harm Ella? Put it this way, how is screwing George going to help Ella? He might. How? What if he really is Ella's father? You no? Know? He might... <laughs> you think he's going to dump Gina and move in with you? Screwing him, you're in love with him. I'm not in love with him. I'm not in love with him. It is not going to happen, believe me. When, when are you seeing him next? 
tomorrow. Well, just end it. Get the test over and done with before it gets any messier. I don't think it can get any messier. We wait till Gina finds out. That is when it gets messy. What's that? It's a uh, condom crisis. As in that, uh, I can't seem to find one. Mm. There again, I could always uh, forget about it. What? It's just a thought. Are you serious? No. Good. Ah, bingo. This is no good. Huh? We did it. Should have done this a long time ago. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hey, 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 what's the matter? You can't leave again, George. Well, hey, look, why not? Huh? What are you talking about? Talk to me, for God's sake. I made a mistake. What? You can't just walk out like that. I'm sorry. Suzanne? Suzanne, what you... Three packs of smoked salmon, two bottles of champagne and a box of chocolates. Do they run out of trolleys or what? It's only food. Kapoor's written to Madeline Kingdom solicitor requesting a DNA test within the next fortnight to help further the investigation. George, whatever you said, it worked. I'm going out. What for? To eat. There's nothing in, is there? Are you coming? Not if you ask me like that. What do you want me to ask? Like you want me to say yes. You stay away from her. Stay away from both of them. George, please. How much clear talk can I be, eh? Hey? Hmm? I just wanted to have a quick. George, watch it! <sighs> if you hadn't tried to trick me into seeing the kid in the first place, then this wouldn't have happened. No, I'm sorry. Um, oh, talk to me, wife. No. Why not? That just isn't. Is your blood the same as mine? Watch out, you trod on the line. No, I didn't. Hey, you don't know anything. Like, have a look at your ice cream. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm walking in. I told her back and forth. Ella! Oh, she's my secretary now. Ella, come here. You know who. I don't know what Ella? you're talking about. Don't lie to me, George. Hello, Gina. George? He's done you. Yeah. It's Madeline Kingdom. The one who's got our baby. That's our daughter, Ella. Mum, who's yes. that lady? No one. She's no one. Ow! What's wrong? Mum, you're hurting my hand. I'm sorry. I told you. What? It'd make a difference seeing her. It's got to you, hasn't it? 
How does she know your name, anyway? She must have done her homework. Yeah, just a bit. Well, what do you think? Isn't she the most beautiful kid in the world, George? She could be ours. <laughs> What's the matter? Before, we were always talking about trying for a baby. That's what we wanted, a baby. And now, all of a sudden, it's a five-year-old. Our five-year-old? It's not like we'd be adopting her. No, but... It's not quite the same thing, somehow. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. She's lived with that woman for five years. I think what it would do to them. What are you trying to say, George? Just drive me home, please. I don't care whether it is or not. At this rate, my daughter is going to be a teenager before I find... Mrs Kaufman. Yes. I thought so. Come along in. English department. Thanks. Up the stairs, there's a woman. I would like to know exactly what progress is being made of my daughter. Like, for a start, whether she is my daughter? Mrs. Kelly. Because I have had enough of this. I've seen her. I've seen her mother coming home at all times of the day and night. And believe me, Forgive she... Forgive me for interrupting. Mrs. Kaufman, but I'm a little confused. After the conversation I had with your husband earlier on, I was under the impression the matter was closed. You spoke to my husband? Yes. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Your husband told me very clearly that he wished to drop this case entirely. <laughs> I assumed this was a joint decision. That's not true. I don't believe you. Perhaps you better speak to him about this yourself. Oh, why would he tell you that? It doesn't make sense. Why would he? You knew all along? Yes. So why did you lie to me? I had no choice. What, what were you trying to do? I needed to find things out about you. And what exactly did you find out, hmm? Well, apart from the fact that you liked me. <laughs> well, answer me! This isn't just about Ella anymore. Not even if she's yours. Tell that to your wife, your lawyer. Madeline, let go of me. Let go. It's more complicated than it already is, George, please. But I'm not going to pretend that nothing ever happened, even it if you are. It shouldn't have happened. It was a mistake. I apologise. A mistake? What, running into me in the Aurora bar? Phoning me the next day or going to bed with me a week after? Well, tell me exactly which bit was a mistake. Come and have lunch. That's all I'm asking. Lunch and a chat. Is that shorthand for a quick shag in the nearest hotel? No. No, it's not shorthand for anything. This is me saying to you that this can still happen. It can still work, if you want it to. You, me and Ella. George. I spoke to my solicitor earlier on. I've dropped the case. Thank you. What about Gina? spoken to her yet. Well, not yet, no. Come and have lunch. George. Please. 
Don't do anything you don't want to do. Don't talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Start all over again and see where it takes us. And if it takes us nowhere, then fine. bother you. It's Madeline Kingdom here. Yes, Ella's mum. I've suddenly realised that Ella's got a dental appointment this afternoon and I'm actually still at work. So I've arranged for my sister to pick her up. I hope that's all right. Any minute now. Great. Thanks. It was funny, this. All different. Oh, we both got our clothes on for once. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sister? Yes. Right. D did Madeline not say anything to you? Not to me, no. Are you, are you sure? Only she said she'd phone. No one called here. Right. Um, only she definitely did say she'd phone. She's got exams at the moment, so she's a bit all over the place. I see. Um. I'll give her a quick call then, shall I? I think that might be best, yeah. You didn't take a call, did you? From Ella's mum? Oh, yes, the office did. About the dentist? That's right. You must be Madeline's sister. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Ella knows, does she? Um, she doesn't, actually. Um, Maddie said to leave it to the last minute. You know how funny kids can be about dentists. Grown-ups, too. I'm one of them. <laughs> She's in break at the minute. Um, over here in infants. <laughs> starts. What? Two questions each, and you've got to tell the truth. All right, I'll go first. What exactly do you do? I'm a lecturer. Huh? In what? Oh, we really are going all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, well, no, some of us have to. Uh, literature. 19th and 20th century women writers. Yeah? I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. How come? Huh. Most of the best ones were called George, weren't they? Discuss. <laughs> Ella! Your auntie's come to take you to the dentist, sweetheart. Hello, Ella. Huh? The dentist, I'm afraid. I don't want to go. He's ever such a nice man. Have you got your school bag? I'll get it. Why are your nails black? Because I paint them like that. Do you like your nails painted like that? I like them green. I'll leave you to it. Mm. I'll tell you what, instead of going to the dentist, we could paint your nails. Only you mustn't tell anybody. Do you like that? Excuse me. Why didn't you say anything to Gina? Because I wanted to speak to you first. I don't 
about? If you'd asked me five years ago if I could imagine not being with Gina, but then I'd, well, I'd have laughed. And then the whole baby business started. Doctors, and clinics, experts. It sent us into a spin. She doesn't need to know about what happened, if that's the end of it. But if it's not, then, and then she does. Well, given that we've just spent the last half hour finding out how little we have in common. I don't know. We both had the same start. Huh? Spread betting in the 19th century novel is what you call a gap in the market, George. So it's a no then? No. It's not exactly a yes, though, is it? Call me... Call me Gina. For now. Just stay here a minute. Hello? Are you there? It's me. I've just phoned to say the meeting finished early, so I'll be home sooner rather than later, all right? We're going somewhere really exciting. Will Mummy be there? Just you wait and see. Just drop me at the corner, will you? You sure? Say anything to Gina, will you? About us. Not yet, anyway. I'll phone. Hello. Oh, hello. You haven't seen Ella, have you? Uh, yes. Well, I, I mean, not since uh, she's gone to the dentist. Dentist? Yes, with your sister. I don't have a sister. Just five. Just blonde and brown eyes. Has Ella met Mrs. Kaufman before? No. Never? Not as far as I know why. I'm just trying to work out why she'd be prepared to walk off with a perfect stranger. I mean, it's quite unusual in a child that age. <laughs> Never that... mind why. Just get my daughter back, will you? Just get her back. <laughs> what about Mr. Kaufman? What about them? I can't 
believe it. I can't believe she'd do this. Have you been in touch with the mother? She alerted us. She's in quiet state. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Where's your wife keep her passport? Same place as mine. Railway stations, ferry terminals. In a way, it's good news. She's trying to take my daughter abroad. How the hell can that be good news? I never know what she's planning. Oh, God. This is Kingdom. She only has a passport for herself. Ella's not going anywhere. They are, do you? Have a good trip, madam. Hard on yourself. It's I was with him. I was with George. I was with George when she took Alan. like they know what car Gina's driving <sighs> at least it's not like she's been taken by a total stranger it's not as if she's gonna come to any harm Sing a song. Yeah, we'll sing a song. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. I know, I know. Look, look. I bet you like Coca-Cola, don't you? Come on, drink it, Ella. You're gonna get drink it, please. Ella. It's all right. It was an accident. Okay, it doesn't matter. 
It's all right. Maybe you should just go home, try and get some rest. She could be anywhere by now. France. She's gone to France. How do you know? We just had a call from Portsmouth. Mrs. Kaufman's name came up on the database. Apparently she took the 4.30 crossing this afternoon. She? Don't you mean they? Your daughter's name wasn't listed, which means she must have been smuggled aboard. We're trying to get hold of the French authorities now. So when does the boat arrive in France? Five minutes ago. Autorisés sont invités à rejoindre le garage. Merci. Through, hasn't she? I'm afraid so. What? 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 What's happened, <sighs> Madeleine? very far without a car.
What? What did you tell her? Where is she? I don't know. Take me to lunch because she just couldn't bear not to see me again. And that just so happens to be out of town, and that just so happens that's when your wife decides to go and steal my daughter. Where is she? Gentlemen! Why didn't you plan that far ahead? In which case, you better go to France and find her, because if your wife harms so much as one hair on my daughter's head, I'll fucking kill you. I haven't said anything to Gina. This has got nothing to do with me, I swear to God. Do you really think I'm the kind of man that would lure you out of the house and my wife could run off with your daughter? I just want her back. A little girl. Um, um, a little girl. I've lost my daughter. Sorry, uh, pardon me. Have you seen a little girl? I've lost my daughter. She's five years old. Someone, a little girl, my daughter, when, when she was in the car and, and, and she went down on the beach, I think. Madame, je comprends pas ce que vous me dites. Philippe? A little girl, I've lost my daughter. Come here, let's go. The, the beach, a, a little girl? Je comprends pas ce qu'elle dit. Have you lost something? Yes, a little girl. You're English? Yes. One minute. Il y a une femme qui... Oui. What's your daughter's name? Ella. She's five years old. Je vais vérifier. On m'appelle le central. What's he doing? Venez par là. Her name's Ella, and and we we stayed in the car. And then when I woke up, the door was open, and she was gone. We should we should look on the beach. She's all alone. I thought she must have gone down to the beach, but when I went and had a look, I couldn't see her anywhere. Excuse me. No, on va l'emmener. On embarque. Please, excuse me. What? Where are we going? I can't go. Look, yes, I've got to find yes, Ella. Yes, yes, I can't. Yes, yes. I can't leave. Do you understand? There's a little girl on it. And you don't have any friends in France. No. Relatives? No. We must have some idea. Madeline, if I knew where she'd gone, I would have told the police. I'm sorry. I like I'm being punished.
Oh, thank God for that. Well, normally. But hello, Anna, I want. What? No. What's up? No, please, no. What is it? No. No. Oh, no. Hello? She can't swim. She can't swim. She can't swim. Tu veux 5 francs Tu parles pas français Speak Dutch Chinoise Hein Habla italiano Hello Hello ah, Anglaise, non How are you I'm fine, thank you bah, Tu parles anglais, toi bah, Je vais vous coller que ça. Mais Gérard, il parle bien. Il est bon, il est bon. De toute façon, c'est pas mon problème. Excuse me. Do you have a cigarette, please Your husband. husband is coming soon. Here? Of course. Well, then why do I have to stay here? Look, my daughter happens no. to... She's not your daughter.
C'est bon You you like It's good 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 to eat Tem You must understand, it was very early in the morning and there were not very many people. But now we have a better chance. Madame, uh, can I offer you a drink, uh, no, something to no, eat? No. You sure? Yes. Monsieur Kaufman, do you want to see your wife? Why is she here? Why is she here? I thought that was pretty bloody obvious why she's here. With you? They brought us over together. How the hell did you manage to lose her? What were you planning on doing anyway? For how long? I... I, I don't know where to start. How about we tell Ingeborg to drop the case? Without so much as saying a word to me? Like I don't count! Of course you count. Then why? Madame, no, go, 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 why? Madame! Have you made up your mind? About what? Which car you're going in. What is it? The DNA tests reveal that there is no familiar relationship between Ella and Mr. and Mrs. Kaufman, or indeed between Ella and Dr. Kingdom. It is almost certain, therefore, that the fertilized egg from another couple was inadvertently transferred into Dr. Kingdom. Did you ever want a baby? really want one. You know I did. I know you wanted to be able to have one. It's 
not the same. Believe me, it's not the same. I wanted whatever you wanted. Whatever made you happy. Two in just a minute, the penultimate episode in the drama that gripped America and is now taking over these shores. It's 10 o'clock in 24.